Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Well, look what we have here. Mr. Weasel is out for a bit of a furlough while I tidied up his cage. He was uh, interested in uh, coming out on his sort of own and I put him down on the floor here uh, where he's quietly huffing um, because he doesn't normally come out of his cage it's interesting you know uh, they want to come out of their cage and then once they're out they're all butthurt and upset uh, about being out of the cage this is uh, Deboya Mauritanica um, I've had him for quite some time. Uh, he's quite the character. Looks like he's developing some lipomas or perhaps even some spinal stenosis. We'll try to gently and slowly move around as not to alarm Mr. Weasel, who's quite the character uh, when feeding. Uh, he was fed yesterday, so he did not detect food in the room and therefore was was pretty relaxed about it. Now I'm going to get a second hook uh, when I pick him up and put him back in his cage here in a minute, which um, I can't film and do at the same time. Um, but, I, you know, I figured I would give him a little bit of out time and see if he was interested in crawling about um, but apparently you know he's just gonna sit there and be a little bit defensive because he doesn't often get time out so to speak hi hi weasel hi weasel Yeah, when I put him back in, I'll have to be very careful because if that's spinal stenosis, it might be uh, uh, pretty easy to break his back. And we, of course, don't want to do that. Hi. Want to do weasel cam, huh? Can we do weasel cam? Well, this ought to be interesting. Okay with that, huh? So far, so good. All I'm doing is pushing the camera towards him uh, with the hook. So if the steering is a bit abrupt and stuff, or if he whacks the camera, uh, this is why. Well, there, you're face to face with the weasel. Hey, bud. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time before they relax enough to uh, to decide it's safe enough to move about the room. I will uh, sit my butt down on the floor here and sort of make my presence as minimal as possible. So maybe he will decide to uh, to move about. Hopefully not in my direction. 
a little tough to defend against a rampant weasel when you're sitting on the floor. Um, because of my back and such, uh, I don't get up so quickly anymore. Um, so this is quite a vulnerable position. Hi dude, how you doing? I know, I see you. You gonna check out Mr. Camera? Oh, there's a weasel cam. There's a weasel cam. Hmm? Yeah, dude, you should know I'm, I don't mean you any harm. Now, knowing the belligerent nature of the boya, I would not be surprised if he just decided to summarily pop the camera just uh, just to let the camera know that who's in charge. Weasel's pretty old. I got him as a baby. Oh, probably in like 2004-2005. Right now he's uh, 12 or 13 years old, and you know, as as I said earlier, he might have some spinal stenosis and stuff. Uh, uh, it's not really clear what their lifespan is in the uh, in the wild, but I've had him, you know, a long time. He's been a Quite a character. And it's sort of nice to uh, give him a little bit of enrichment here. I really wish everybody was cooperative and not try to run under the furniture or be difficult like that because. Uh, then everybody could come out and have a little out of the cage time. Is that interesting to you, huh? Is that an interesting object? Yeah. I'm still manipulating the camera by hook. Uh, one nice thing about these wooden floors is um, snakes really don't get a huge amount of traction on it which is really good when you don't want them to go f very far very fast um, and actually when they're really excited they sort of swim in place um, but does make their mobility a little bit difficult. Hey dude, come on, I don't want you going under things. That's that's the house rule. You don't go under things. Uh, Mr. Weasel, you're gonna be difficult now, huh? You are sort of lumpy there in the middle. You are a lumpy snake. You know, I don't know if his spine over here, oh, he's winding up for a strike. I don't know if his area over here, this looks like where there may be some stenosis and stuff. Um, he's a bit irritated because I haven't uh, let him go where he wants to go. So, what I think I'm going to do is is move him back to his cage, but I really want a different hook so we can spread the load because he is a big guy. And we don't want to break any ribs or things like that. Um, 
I do want to uh, I do want to scoop them up and move them by the tailing and hooking method because uh, I don't want him scooting and coming I got you you're okay dude and coming uh, free and flopping on the floor come on go back in your cage there you go there you go dude good job good job I do have to move the water dish to a better place hmm what's the best choice of doing this are you happy to be back in your house huh you happy to be back in your house all right, well that's the weasel. We don't often get weasel time, so I hope you enjoyed it. Well, I fed this girl yesterday, and I'm not sure if she's looking to have a go at me or a feed, so I'm not gonna get close enough to allow her to, to demonstrate if she wants a go at me, but I do have some food items here. We well, missed it. Well, it's an unusual feeding posture. Well, there you go. You can have that. I think it was a combination. She wanted to have a go at me and have something to eat too. Now, not to uh, neglect your cage mate. Her cage mate is reluctant uh, to take food directly and I think she's slightly racist because... Hi, are you coming out to see me? Huh? I think she's racist because she prefers to have white mice over black mice. Uh, you know, that's, uh, that's too bad. Uh, but uh, I'll let... She usually takes something if it's left over there. At least I think she takes something. Uh, but uh, this one might eat it too. But just don't know. Hi, how you doing? Do you want to do blue and Solaris cam, huh? Hi. Let's get a focusing here. There's Blue and Solaris Cam. This was a rather sickly female uh, when she first arrived, had sort of a respiratory infection, did a course of antibiotics, and it uh, cleared up. You know, these are from the Lesser Sunda Islands in Indonesia. Uh, common on Komodo Island, which of course is a national park. And it would be poaching to have, take animals from there. But also, you know, the surrounding islands, which is not national park uh, uh, territory, also have some... You know, it's very interesting. These are all, uh, all the cryptolytrops in Solaris uh, uh, seem to be quite variable in color. I mean, we have, uh, we had sort of a rainbow assortment out of the, the group of babies, but most are sort of blue or teal in color. There's some, there's one that's doing fabulously. That's a very, very... Uh, lovely shade of green that uh, is going to get moved to his own uh, cage out of a tub today just so you know he can be seen and appreciated more and 
since I've got a whole bunch of Eckes babies and some other things on the way, we're going to need some uh, tub space. So these are probably toxic enough to ruin, you know, probably a week of your life, but generally I'm not certain that they have enough oomph in their venom to be fatal. Certainly a small child getting bit would be a bad thing. Uh, you might experience some coagulopathy, uh, certainly local pain swelling and maybe some tissue necrosis, uh, but I wouldn't necessarily call these lethal, I would call it a, a very bad experience. Uh, all pit viper bites are just horrifically painful uh, the, uh, from actually having been bit by a pit viper. Uh, uh, most people will describe and agree with one another that if you want to know what a pit viper bite feels like, uh, you stick your hand in in a pot of boiling water, hold it there for several seconds, then pull it out and smash it on uh, with a hammer uh, when you lay your hand on the table. So that's your typical pit viper bite and what it feels like, and I can attest that to being factual. Now, I have to make note when I close the door to make sure her little little tail is out of the way there, otherwise she will be very pissed off. Yeah, let's do this without getting my, my fingers where they don't need to be. Come on. No, you don't want it now, huh? Come on. Come on. Come on. You don't like shake and bake? He wants to go back to where he was and chew on it again. It's like, it's like jerky. Come on. Oh, wait, wait, don't take that away. Well, then you gotta better eat it right. Here. We'll try the open mouth trick. Oh. Well, you gotta get the jaws together now, huh? Don't take my food, please. I want it. There you go. What a champ. Now that is a cooperative snake. Oops. And you're working your way to your head, so you know what you're doing. Oh, stop. I'm not going to bother you. Anybody else? You decided that wasn't something that you were sort of interested in. You're, you're sort of interested, but you just don't quite have your act together. Huh? And what about you? You you started off. No. Okay. So. I sort of want to keep my eye on him to make sure that he's doing okay. Go back there. He's, he or she is doing really well. Now I'm going to move this back and disturb them all. Now let's see if anybody else... Oh! You let it go! Okay, there's no echoes right under there to bother me. Come on. Uh -huh. 
Alright, we'll leave you alone for a second and see if you want to go after that. Anybody over here interested in a gecko? Hey, there's three of them over there. See, the open mouth trick works really well. Now this guy's almost got it uh, licked, so to speak. Come on. Where are you going? There you go. Now you got it. Seeing people wonder why I don't have a lot of time and I'm always very busy. It's because rearing babies, which I really like to do, takes a whole lot of time. Are you guys, this is the old adage, either you're going to uh, fish or cut bait or shit or get off the pot sort of a deal. Hello. You want this? Huh? You've been sort of hiding up there. You want that? Hmm? Now, meanwhile, my hand was just over top. Uh, he's uh, he or she is finishing the meal. Not really interested in biting me. Uh, they only want to use their venom uh, when it's absolutely necessary, when they're really frightened and feel threatened, and uh, it's mostly a, a food procurement device. Hmm? No? You're not interested. guys more scared of this than you are uh, thinking that it's something to eat. Oh, and look at this one's coming over to investigate. Ooh, what are you doing, my, my brother or sister? Huh? Come on, no reason to cower. I'm not going to hurt you. Come on. You had it. You were so promising. And then sort of just Peter down. Hello, oh, Mr. Titan. You don't have uh, a whole lot of time left to figure it out there, dude, huh? I would imagine that most of these non-feeders are probably males because you don't need a whole idea of continuous species is you have lots of females that can give birth to lots of babies and just a couple of males to come by and and mate with them. And the thing is if it's not really animated they lose interest. Yep, I'm going to go under there and cook for a while. You know, I'm going to leave that with you. 
and hope that it, you eat. Okay. Well, that took a while, as usual. Now I'll move on to somebody who uh, is a much better feeder. Mr. Uh, Mr. Coral Cobra has really taken a liking. Up, uh, oh, we're in chat almost. We're getting there. Mr. Coral Culver really has taken a shine to geckos. I've, you know, if I thaw an animal out or a gecko or a mouse, I don't like it to go to waste. Um, and Mr. Mr. Coral Culver has really taken uh, a shine to them. And uh, even though he's going opaque and probably would not eat anything else I offered him, uh, he's going to chow down on Mr. Gecko, and Mr. Gecko is not going to go to waste then. You happy now, dude? I have a nice girl coming for you. Maybe you can make it happen this time around. <laughs> 